Greetings, everyone, and thank you for returning to the channel. The world of canceling accounts is going to be our topic of discussion today. To be more specific, we will discuss the process of closing your EverBank user account. Now, let's be completely forthright. Putting an end to a bank account is not exactly the most exciting subject to discuss. It may feel like you are walking through a thick layer of financial muck. But give me a chance. Either you have discovered a new bank that offers a higher interest rate, or you are in the process of streamlining your financial situation by consolidating your accounts. Whatever the reason, knowing how to close your EverBank account smoothly and efficiently can save you time and frustration. So, if you are ready to say goodbye to EverBank, buckle up and let's get started. Step 1. The Pre-Close Prep Before you jump straight into closing your account, there are a few things to consider. First, gather your account information. Account number, routing number, the usual suspects. You'll likely need them during the closure process. Next, make sure you have zeroed out your account balance. This means transferring any remaining funds to another account or withdrawing them in cash. Leaving a penny in there might seem harmless, but it can delay the closure process. Trust me, you don't want your pennies holding your account hostage. Third, if you have any automatic deposits or withdrawals set up for your EverBank account, be sure to cancel or reroute them to your new account. Imagine the surprise of that monthly gym membership charge bouncing because your EverBank account is no more. Finally, if you have a debit card linked to your EverBank account, don't forget to cancel it. Leaving an active debit card hanging around is an open invitation for fraud. You don't want to be the star of your own financial nightmare after your account is closed. Step 2. Closing Time Now that you're prepped and ready, it's time to close the account. EverBank offers two main ways to do this, by phone or by mail. Option 1. The phone call For some folks, a good old-fashioned phone call is the way to go. Here's what you need to do. Grab your phone and dial EverBank's customer service number. You can find it on their website or the back of your debit card. Be prepared to wait on hold. Sometimes financial institutions have hold times that rival the queue for the hottest concert tickets. But hey, put on some headphones, catch up on a podcast, and make the most of it. Once you connect with a customer service representative, explain your intention to close your account. They'll likely ask you some verification questions to confirm your identity, so be ready with your account details. During the call, inquire about any outstanding fees or charges. You don't want any surprise debits popping up after you think your account is closed. Once everything is confirmed, the representative will initiate the closure process. They'll also let you know the timeline for when your account will be officially shut down. Option 2. The Paper Trail If phone calls aren't your thing, you can also close your EverBank account by mail. However, there isn't a dedicated account closure form readily available online. Here's what you can do. Write a clear and concise letter stating your request to close your account. Include your account number and any other relevant information for verification purposes. Be sure to mention if you want any remaining funds transferred to another account. Provide the account details for the receiving account. Sign the letter and send it certified mail, return receipt requested, to EverBank's customer service address. This way, you have a record that they received your closure request. Step 3. Post-Closure Housekeeping Once you've initiated the closure process, keep an eye on your account for a few days. Monitor for any debits or failed transfers. If you see any suspicious activity, contact EverBank immediately. Remember, closing your account doesn't necessarily mean severing all ties with EverBank. If you have other financial products with them, like investments or loans, those accounts will likely remain open. It's always best to double-check with customer service to confirm the status of any other linked accounts. And that's it, folks. With a little planning and these steps, closing your EverBank account should be a smooth and painless process. Remember, knowledge is power especially when it comes to navigating the sometimes murky waters of personal finance. So, if you're ready to move on from EverBank, feel empowered to take charge and close that account with confidence.